There's a kitty. I'll sit down here for a second. I'll adjust my camera. <laughs> Dude, what the fuck? All right, I'm going to go get my Jägermeister, and I'll be right back. Kind of sucks I'm losing accounts, and it, it's really upsetting, actually, because I live stream so much, I actually have a lot of interesting things about my life on there, and to have them flagged and fucked over and... It's pretty fucked up. And then just to have the only subscribers I have just to be legit for real stalkers. And they're just hate watching. I would be okay with that if it, if it, made me money but it ain't doing shit except like like i want to broadcast to a bunch of people that are just creepy evil weird and then the shit they defend is retarded and then they try to say you're bad or something and they're literally like these goblin fucking people Yeah, they are all fake and ugly. We, we could be in stage four because arresting Trump could be a stage four thing. trying to start a war with Russia, that could be a stage four. But also in stage four, they'll stop promoting LGBT. And I bet you they're about to do that. And if they do, when the Democrats stop promoting that, you're in, you're in stage four. That's one way you can really tell, but A lot of shit's supposed to happen in stage four. So even if we're not in stage four, there's like precursors for it. We're definitely in stage three because stage three is everybody's retarded and that, that's definitely going on
There's somebody in the woods. I'll be right back. All right, batteries from 09. Right, we're going to work on some shit here. Oil change, fuel line, solenoid, 
the fuck ever. I don't know if it's worth all that, but whatever. Let's see what my uh, connection says. Not that good. Oh, well. Not that bad. Not that great. I have no idea. Unless I test it. Oh, whatever. You hear my neighbor riding around on his quad. Guy's creepy. I got some. I feel like I have to take a dump now. At least I have some Jaeger. I tried to stock up on that, so at least I'd have some for a few days. Try to figure out how to make some money. I drank some milk last night. And it made me realize I'm like I must be lactose intolerant or something. Cause it's kind of messed me up. I wonder what kind of alcohol is in Jaeger. Like, is it vodka or? It's got to be like vodka or something. All right, we're working on something today. Let's get started then. Uh, uh,
This thing won't cut. Oh, maybe it'll snip. Ouch. Uh, it's barely. Like I got this clamp. Like even on its tightest setting, it won't fit. What the fuck? Well, it looks better.
Walmart knife. I think it was ten bucks. All right, back. I gotta wash my hands.
Whatever's left. What do you mean? I went to different stores trying to, I went to like two different stores trying to buy gas line and they were both out. And I'm like, fuck, dude. I ended up using some line, which ain't bad. Huh. Mm. Let's see if it's like it. Well, that means an all change in an entire. Yeah, you're trying to knock over my drink. They have some obsession with trying to knock my drink over. Wait, I gotta see this, huh? I knew it would be fucking dumb. I don't really like Alex Stein. I watched him when he first started. And he was like, oh, I'm just in it for the money. All right, let's see if the mower starts at least. Let's see if the blades turn.
blades work now you know what's really funny is the blades used to go ding 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 and I didn't hear no ding 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 so that's pretty good so now it needs an oil change a new tire a solenoid if I want This will not stay closed, watch. It's totally retarded. Why? Why won't what what is that? What locks that? Oh, just a little thing? Mm. So what's locking that? Nothing. Mm. This thing sucks, dude. Everything about this thing's broke. No, it ain't. This used to be good. What the fuck? It sucks. That was my good one. Fucking broke. Salty cracker. Hey, DNA. Just working on my mirror. It's starting to work good because the blades weren't spinning, so I had to fix that. They were just locked up, so I had to get them moving. Now they move. It turned on. I just fixed the gas line. Well, if I name those three things, that's the things the stalkers will attack. And yeah, just look up Salty Cracker. That guy's fucking awesome. And he also talks about all the fucking child shit, too. So, he's pretty cool. I don't watch him as much. I like him. But I'm. it makes me sad because it's like, well, why can't I be a fraction of what he is? Something ain't right. Something ain't adding up. Why is he allowed to exist, but I'm not allowed to exist. Something about that ain't making sense. It's okay if he talks about shit, but if I talk about the same exact shit, nobody gives a fuck. And it's like, I think they allow, I, even though I like him and I don't think he's like a shill, I kind of feel like he could be a shill because why do they let him have a YouTube? But then I, if I talk about the same exact thing, literally, I've even tested this. I've like literally taken shit he said word by word and said the exact same thing word by word and I got banned. And it's like, but they're not being in him. Huh. So. 
So even though I like him a lot, and I agree with everything he says pretty much, it's upsetting because I can't even be one one hundredth of what he is. And I wouldn't say that's jealousy. It's like, it's like something ain't right. Like, I don't know how to explain it. Apparently, now I'm out of gas. Or something ain't right. It's smoking everywhere, but that's because it's fucking, it needs an oil change. Now I need a tire. I should work on the tire, the oil change. Actually, I should do the oil change right now because stirring it all up. So let's do the oil change. Oh, it has a nice fucking drain plug. Fuck yeah. I love this thing. Somebody took care of this because somebody had to make that oil drain. And they're hard to do. Somebody had to spend some effort. Now I just need something to drain into. Let me find something. And it's probably going to have a gallon of shit come out of there because it's all full of gas and shit. I don't see nothing in here to drain into. Ew. That smells awful. I just feel like shit. I'm making a new, because I can't stream for a week, and I'm like, well, that'll, I've been waiting for that moment. And I'm going to make a whole new channel and try to not let my stalkers know about it. That's the craziest bug I've ever seen. What the fuck? Let me see if I can show you guys. Ah! I touched it and it took off flying. It was this huge green beetle. It was huge. Uh, I should have tried to show you guys. I touched it and it took off flying. <laughs> Could you hear it go? <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh. That actually kind of scared the shit out of me. I was like, ah! <laughs> oh my God, that freaks me out. Oh, you know what? I got a jug in my room that'll work. Yeah, let me go grab that over here, back.
got my jug. I grabbed one jug and I'm like, wait a minute, this is a really nice jug. I don't want to use that. It had a nice handle on it. I'm like, no, I ain't using that one. So I grabbed some other one. Ugh. Sucks is the spring in this thing broke. I don't know. I feel like they should ban guns because the only people using them are people to kill fucking little kids. And they people say, well, we own guns to stop a an out-of-control government. Your government's out of control and you're not doing anything. So use it or fucking lose it, motherfucker. If you're not using it for what you're saying, then... It's time to literally give it the fuck up because if all you're going to do is kill kids, then yeah, you shouldn't have them then, should you? Because you're not using them for what you're claiming. It's to stop an out of control government. You already got that and you ain't doing nothing about it. So you know what? If all you're going to do is kill kids... And not stop out of control government. You know what? It's time you're out of control government fucking takes them. Because the only people that have guns are fucking criminals now. Is that going to stop the criminals? No. But you know what? If they start fucking taking them all, well, yeah, eventually it will, maybe. Huh. Very few people are using them to defend themselves. The rest of the people are all criminals. I don't know, but if it it's kind of making me feel that way, honestly. I don't want to feel that way, but honestly, I was sitting there thinking it's like people are claiming it's to stop out of control rogue government. It's like, but it's not. So the only thing you're doing is killing kids. That's it. You, you you're not doing anything else. You're too pussy. That's why you kill kids, because you're too pussy to actually go after real criminals. So the only thing you're fucking doing is killing kids. And it's like, you know what? Use it or fucking lose it. And at this point, it's like it might be time to just fucking lose it. Yeah. You know? All right, we're going to uh, drain the oil. And I guarantee you, 
way too much oil comes out because for some reason it leaked all the gas into the oil even though I have a shutoff valve and it was off. That means it's getting around the shutoff valve, which is fucking stupid. And your government's so corrupt, they're rigging elections, so it don't matter what you vote for. You think somebody voted for fucking Fetterman? You think one motherfucker voted for that motherfucker? No. Do you even hear anything about him? No, because he's so fucking dumb. Wait to see what that does. I don't care who gets rid of the zombies. The Democrats are going to do it a lot faster, though. For a Republican to get rid of a zombie, it would take 30 years. Well, by then, you're it's not going to happen and you're dead. Okay, who cares what happens in 30 fucking years? Am I going to be alive in 30 fucking years? No. The Democrats will get rid of them in a blink of a fucking eyeball. So it's like, I'm... That sounds ten times better to me. Even now... They did some Democratic shit. I mean, uh, some Republican shit. So, I don't know. It's starting to get weird. Because I said there's three ways to legitimately get rid of zombies. That's institutionalize them, put them in jail, or deport them. Well, lately they institutionalized a zombie, which is unheard of. So, we're either in it or, or something's going on. Because only in a stage four do they do. And if we're in stage four, you can't you can't reverse that. It's you cannot reverse stage four. And if we're in stage four, you're gonna die. There's a very good chance we are in stage four. And that might be why we're about to see something totally different. On the 23rd, there might be nuclear war on the 23rd. Well, it's the 16th today. You got seven, you got a week before stage four hits. Uh. And I'm not ready to, I can't, I have zero fucking dollars. There's no way in hell I'm ready for stage four. I don't think you can be ready for stage four and stage four you die. So how do you, how do you prepare to die? I don't know. Dig a hole. Put a gravestone on top of it? I don't know.
All right, let's drain the oil, I guess. Oh, that is some nasty looking shit. You know what? This uh, ain't tilted the right way either. Ooh, that's nasty. All right. Okay, it's coming out. I gotta jack this other side up somehow. Fuck, there's no way to lift it up. Watch me jack it up. I guess. Oh, I guess she could see me. What's going to bend it? What the fuck? Fuck, why does it do that?
Oh shit. Why? You fucking hunk of shit. Fucking stop. Oh, it's got a cord in it. I don't know. I say take, but there's just something in it. There's so much gas is in it. Hardly any.
This is a citronella torch, but look, it's full of water. But that top little bit's the oil. And that's how much I've burnt off of it, which is insane. And I only had it lit for like a little bit. And I had it all the way full to the brim of oil. And now there's just this little bit and the rest is water. But you see that little bit at the top? That's oil. So this thing burns it off quick. But I didn't want to put like that much oil in there. So I filled it with water and put a little bit of oil. And look, I'm going to put this next to me to keep bugs away. Can you see it? Look, see, there's the torch. It lit really quick. That stuff's pretty good shit. All right, well, we did the oil change. We changed the gas line. Now I need to find a tire or fix this tire. It was holding air. And then all of a sudden it don't. So it either broke. I just had it jacked up and it fell off the jack. So I hate that. And that's a good way to hurt yourself. So even on a mower. I broke my finger that way before. I had a mower fall off the jack, and then it fell on my finger here. And it broke the tip of my finger and ripped it off. And it was bad. It broke it and ripped the tip off. And the only reason I have a, And they said if you were a little bit lower, you would have lost your fingernail for life. And I was drinking, so. I like my ZX2. It's small coupe. And you, it's really kind of hard to actually get a small coupe like that. You'd have to get a Scion or one of those Subarus. Or a Honda Civic two door. That guy starting his mower sounded weird. This thing's putting off a lot of smoke. That's pretty good. Works pretty damn good. I just feel so bad. There's got to be a way to feel better.
one of my stalkers disappeared. I don't even feel good about it because it's like, unless it's forever, it ain't going to matter because the motherfucker keeps coming back. Just stupid shit like that. I don't know. The only thing that'd make me feel better if about a th- all of them fucking died tomorrow, I'd feel a little better. I have a feeling that might happen because you got seven days before they do a nuclear war, so... They're going to go to nuclear war because um, they said they, they know these people are bound and determined to attack them. And they're like, they can either wait till they attack or say, fuck it, you, you are total dog shit, you your right to breathe has now been forfeit and just wipe them off the face of the fucking planet. And they're like, well, here's our choice. We can wait for them to nuke us and they're bound and they're going to do it. Or we can say, fuck it. We're going to nuke you first. And in seven days, they're going to say, fuck it. It's better because the longer we wait, the more nukes they have. And they're like, if they nuke, if they surprise nuke us, we're all dead. But if we go to the bunkers and then nuke them, we're all alive. But it don't matter. People deserve to die, so they're probably just doing it for that anyways. The elite now, like, they know they're useful idiots. They, When they turn people into zombies and use that to rig elections and shit... Fall off your motorcycle, please. Please die. All right, so we got to fix a tire. Oh, I need gas. Wish I could figure out where to get some gas from. I got some two stroke, but that ain't right. I just feel like total shit. I don't like knowing we're all going to die from a bunch of zombies. It's just so wrong. And nobody cares. It's so fucking retarded.
Oh my god, I need gas. Let's just work on the tire instead of the gas. Tire good or what? Uh, this tire might actually be. Oh, you know, it's got shit all over it. I need a ratchet, let's see.
and you fucking beat it. Ow. 
Some zombie went by screaming and yelling. Hey, come back. I got something for you. I don't have brake cleaner. Like, brake cleaner's non-flammable. What does work is carburetor cleaner. And I used to have some, but I think I used it all. I don't have any gas. I'm out of gas. I don't even think that tire works. I'm probably just wasting my fucking time. I hate this. I've hurt myself doing this. Yeah, they got flammable kind, but they're making it last and last because people were shooting brake cleaner on their hot fucking brakes thinking, yeah, I've never been good with seat in a bead. I, I've never actually got a bead to seat. Ever. I've tried it a million times. It's never worked ever. And it's just a big waste of time. Even if I try gas, it never works. Like nothing I do ever works. I usually end up just buying a tube and putting a tube in. Well, I don't have money, so. I'm just trying to fix this thing to sell it. Man, I got it about working. I've That's what I've done. I've watched all the YouTube videos on how to seat the bead, and I just can't do it. That's why I have this strap, because that's, that's one of the things you can do. And it's kind of working, but also it's leaving this much of a gap. Yeah. I need a fucking air compressor. That help. I need to buy a new air compressor because I don't have one, and it sucks not having a nice air compressor. Take the V. That wore me the fuck out just doing that. I'm like so wore out all of a sudden. I gotta take a break now. That didn't look hard, but. Oh. I'm just getting fat or something. It's making everything harder. I gotta lose some weight big time. I've been. I wanna keep my weight because it's like if the world ends and you're fat. I got enough fat to survive on three months with no food, but I got like 200 cans of spam. So <laughs> Woo, this is hard. My jack slipped a little bit. That's not good. I almost got this thing together, surprisingly. I just did the oil change. New battery. The solenoid's bad, or it could be something else, but I, I got a new solenoid. I used to keep Schrader valve tools and shit, but it, they're so tiny, it's hard to keep track of that shit. I used to keep it in a spot, because my little Schrader kit and the screwdriver it's only they're only like that big and i used to keep them right on my dresser but they're not there so and it's like they're only like five bucks for the little kit and you get like five little schrader valves in the tool i used to keep a schrader valve tool on my keychain but every now and then I go through my keys and I'm like, well, I haven't used this in three years. I'm taking it off. I actually, I think it rounded off finally. But my, my fucking keys are too outrageous. I used to keep a Schrader valve tool on my keys, but look. 
I had to take it off because look at all these fucking keys. Here's my truck keys. This is my escort key. That's the escort key gas tank. That's a lock. That used to be my storage lock. That used to be my camper lock. That used to be my mailbox keys. All those are mailbox keys. I need to get those off there because I used to use those. Now I don't. That's a key to lock my mowers up. That's a house key. Another car key. Another gas tank. That's the gas tank to my Ranger key. I have a Schrader valve thing somewhere. I guess I could take the Schrader valve off. It probably needs inspected anyways. What I need to do is find the little Schrader valve kit I got, but that's going to take hours just to find all that shit. I got to relax right now. <laughs> shit. Working on shit can be pretty fucking hard. If I can fix this thing, get it going, and just sell it for cheap, I can get it going good. I bought this thing for 80 bucks. If I could sell it for a couple hundred, that'll get some money in my pocket. And I can at least feel better about myself because I just feel like so much shit. And not having money is kind of contributing to that because instead of being able to do shit and have fun and enjoy myself and This, yeah, this carabiner is fake, but I don't latch them. Yeah, this is just a fake-ass cheap carabiner, and I'm surprised it's holding up because, look, dude, that's wore out like crazy. That thing used to be fatter. It's, like, rounded off even. I think it has. Look, because it used to be blue. Look, all that blue wore off. That's crazy. Jeez, my keys are so out of control. I, I keep... See, I got like a little safe. This goes to my little safe. It's just a crappy little safe. Like one I bought for 40 bucks, you know. It's not even a fireproof one. Because the fireproof ones, you can... I don't know. They're just shit. They're heavy and dumb. So I just bought a non-fireproof one, but that's kind of stupid because if there was a fire, I got a lot of important documents. So I think I need to buy a fireproof safe. Well, you know what? Once the doc, I don't know. Huh. Yeah, I need to do that. Just take my car keys and keep these separate but what happens is i'll be walking around my yard and i'll be like oh i gotta get my escort oh i gotta get my keys oh i gotta get in a camper oh i need my keys oh i need to get in a shed oh i need my keys oh i need to get my ranger oh i need the keys oh i need to get my house oh i need the keys so i used to keep them separate but then I was walking inside my house every 10 minutes to get the keys. So finally, I'm like, fuck it. I'm just going to take all my keys and put them on. And having this in your pocket sucks. Because I'll be walking around my yard. Oh, I need my ranger keys. Oh, hold on. I want to get my escort. Oh, hold on. I want to get in the camper. Oh, hold on. I um, need to get in the house. Oh, hold on. I need to get in the shed now. Oh, hold on, I need to open the gas tank on my escort. Oh, shit, I need to get my other car. <laughs> yeah, like, Jesus Christ. So I used to keep them separate, but now I'm like, no, fuck that. I, I don't want to go in the house every 10 minutes when I... So I just got them all together. I do mess with them all the time, but... 
I end up just putting them all back together. And I always leave them in my pocket. I don't like attach them to my belt loop because that drives me nuts. You'll be walking around like ching, chong, ching, 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 chong. So they just sit in my pocket like. I hate, I hate it, but I don't, I've tried other methods and it just really don't work. I, I have tried to keep them separate and I end up going inside and. Like, oh, I need the escort key. Oh, I need this. <clears throat> when I had a little bit less keys, I used to keep them on uh, my belt loop. They bite me. If they start biting me too much, I actually have a thing next to me. This is citronella. It's about to run out. That's water. And there's this little thing at the top. So there's a little sliver of oil at the top. And that's citronella oil. And the rest is water because I didn't want to fill this whole thing up with citronella oil. Because that citronella oil, it's $20 for like half a gallon. And I like the way it smells. It smells good. I like citronella. You know what? I had a citronella candle. What do you want to bet I threw it away? Oh, those citronella buckets. I figured out a secret with one of those. If you take a paper towel and light it and just throw it in the bucket, the whole bucket turns into a big ball of flames. And it makes it way cooler. But those buckets are expensive now. I used to be able to buy one of those citronella buckets for like five bucks. Now they're like 20 bucks. Shit. If you drank that, that's diesel. You'd probably die. I don't even think you could. I'm going to go get some more of that oil. I either have it on my porch. I hope to God it's on my porch. Dude, it feels really fucking good outside. It's so perfect right now. It's making me sad. It's really hard for me to enjoy shit anymore. Come on, where's my fucking oil at? Fuck, dude, I must have brought it inside. I gotta pee. Oh, let's pee.
Looks like something took a big shit right there. There's a big worm in it. It's nasty looking. What is that? Don't come in, kitty. When I bet my door's locked. Nope. Mm -hmm. Come in, kitty. It's fucking dark in my house. I can't see fucking shit. Boop. Where is my citronella oil at? I don't know. Boop, boop, boop. Boop. Dude, if I can't find it, I'm going to fucking freak out. Here it is. Oh, I also bought this. Tabletop torch. Four bucks. That other one I bought was five bucks. We'll use that one first. I didn't realize how cool they were. I should have bought more than just two. Well, I can always make my own for four bucks. Just get some wick. Maybe I should get online and buy like a big bundle of wicks. Come in, kitty. Go in. My armpits are smelling. You should you should go ask Brian K. You should go. Hey, I hope you're not a white farmer. Can't wait till they fucking genocide your fucking bitch ass. It'll be really funny, won't it? <laughs> we'll all laugh like <laughs> Brian K. was genocided. Boo hoo! So sad. Well, I guess we'll miss. That fucking retard loser. Here, let's shake it up to make sure, like, the juice is flowing. And there we go. That's enough. It smells good. This shit's expensive, dude. I'll show you what it looks like. Hold on. See, I learned I learned this trick like just not even a week ago. Like, which is don't fill it all the way full of oil. Fill it full of water, right up to the top like this, and then just add a little bit of oil. Like, add this much oil. See? The bottom's water. Water. The top is oil. That way you don't need as much. And it totally works. Watch. I'm going to show you. Oh, it got on my hands. It smells good, though. Now watch. Boom. Damn. Damn, son. Where'd you get that? Now that's how you make a tiki torch. Then you set it behind you where the bugs like to get you. And look, look you can see the smoke. See that smoke? Now there's citronella on my hands, and it smells good. I wonder if that's like baby oil or diesel fuel or something. I don't know. Oh, my battery's gone, dude. Dude, look at it behind me. Oh. 
I love these things. I think it's keeping the bugs off me because when a bug, when you get bit by a mosquito, you know it about a minute later. You're like, ow, fuck. And you're like, oh shit, there's a big welt. I did notice drinking does help because when they bite you, they get drunk and they're like, uh, uh, and they, they, it makes them drunk real quick. And then you'd be like, ow, I feel something. And they're biting you and they're like already fucking drunk. And I noticed it works with ticks too. Like if it, if you're drinking and a tick bites you, he's totally drunk. Same thing with parasites. Like if you get fucking tapeworm and you drink well that your tapeworm's drunk and he's gonna be like oh, i'm drunk and they're gonna want to exit your body oh there's a bug on me I used to be in fit not even that long ago and I started getting game stocks living here and it kind of drove me crazy honestly one reason I'm streaming is I get gang stalked less. So if I get gang stalked, if I can film it, I will. And my whole stream's just going to be about gang stalking. But if I'm gang stalked less, I'll stream. But it's in celebration to not being gang stalked. So that's kind of what I'm trying to do now is I'm getting gang stalked less, actually. So these are more celebratory, but actually, you know, it just depends on how bad the gang stalking is. Like right now, most of my viewers are hate watching gang stalkers. Not, I mean, not really, but I don't know. People like Justin and some of these other people. He's still making retarded comments or something. But I like my escort. It's kind of a cool car. Yeah, it's a cool car. It's not that bad. They're not that great. They're not that bad, though. They're okay. I, I saw a guy souping his up and putting, like, a turbo on. I'm like, why would you do that? It's not really the best car for it. But really, actually, it kind of makes sense, actually. It's a cool little car you could fuck with. You could do whatever you want, turbo it or whatever. I found one that it didn't have a turbo. And it was like... The guy said it was like three or 500 horsepower. I don't think it was five. I think he said it was like 300. And I'm like, how did you do that? And he's like, he's like, this isn't realistic. He's like, I spent like 50,000 and it had no turbo. It was pure power. And I, like he was dyno in it. And I was like, dude, that's got like some serious power. I'm like, dude, how did you do that? And he's like, 
it's totally unrealistic. That he's like, I do this because I race. And I like this platform. And he's like, I spent like $50,000 to do that or something crazy. And he's like, and he's like, really, other people couldn't do that. He's like, I had to, he's like, I literally spent $50,000 on just the head. And he's like, so it's more than that. And he's like, so he's like, you really couldn't even do that. And he's like, I'm just lucky because he knows race engineers and shit that helped them do it. And so I was, I was looking up like these old Hemis and shit. And because my, I got this Dodge and Dodge is the one who made the Hemis. And they're, they were saying, well, Hemis aren't even that good because they're horrible on gas. You literally get like a mile a gallon with a Hemi. And they're like, you can't cruise in it. And so they actually said the, the 440 is better than the Hemi. Because the Hemi is just sheer race, race. It's it's a drag car. So it's like, yeah, if you want a drag car, Hemi's are awesome. But if you're not drag racing, well, you don't want that. You want a 440. So as much, I like Hemi's, but as much as I like Hemi's, they're saying a 440 is actually better. Or like in my camper here, I got a 360. Well, you can turn it into a 400, which is probably going to be just as good as a 440. So I think people really underestimate these campers like this year by Dodge they they were they had really good engines and transmissions the the torque flight transmissions and shit there there are no transmissions that are that good really so oh my god that's scary looking that guy's going to check on his cows It looks scary for some reason. I used to buy this shit back in like the year 2000 and it was like five bucks. My whole life I've had nothing but shitty friends and Everything's shitty. That's why I think everybody's zombies, because any friend I've ever had is total dog shit. Girlfriend, dog shit. Friends, families, anybody, just dog shit, dog, just dumb, 
evil, dumb dog shit. Nobody normal, unique, interesting. It's just pure white trash, dumb fucking... Stupid, dumb fucking shit. It's literally like everybody's autistic and retarded. I think I need to smoke some fucking weed or something. Okay, what am I what do I need here? What do I what do I need? Uh what do I need? I do got some gas right here. Let's see. No, it's empty. Fuck. See gas is so expensive I can't even afford a couple gallons. Yeah, here's my brake part cleaner. I don't think there's nothing in it. See? I'm out of fucking everything. I fucking used everything until there's nothing left, and now I have nothing and no money, no nothing, nobody. Just me losing my fucking mind, I guess now. And a bunch of people stalking me. I guess that's about it. Yeah, why are you want in there so bad? Guess I'll use the flashlight on my cell phone. I got some paint thinner. Some boiled linseed oil. What am I fucking looking for, dude? I don't even know. I don't see my flashlight anywhere. Oh, here's a flashlight. Oh, don't work. That's a nice flashlight. Buy some of those, even though I don't have batteries in it. Dude, I just feel like total fucking shit, dude. Fuck. Ooh, it's fucking hot in here. Hey, there's just fucking nothing in here anymore. Except garbage. I got some propane and some propane accessories. Wolf energy. I wore it. That's weird because I wore my Wolf, Wolf Energy shirt today. That's fucking trippy. My garden fucking sucked again. It actually was better than it was like last year for many years, but still not that great. I did buy some shit to grow better flowers next fucking year, though. We'll see how that goes. I can't find the key to my fucking house. Is that it? Oh, yeah, that is it. Shit. 
I even been looking at new houses and stuff, and I'm sitting there looking at it like, yeah, I'll, I'll go buy a new house, and you know what? It just takes one fucking gang sucker to burn it down. And it's like, that's what they're going to do. So I'm, it's like so not interesting. We live in a world full of zombies, and it's just so uninteresting. There's no excitement or fun or nothing, and that's why I'm just so shut down. Like, there's no excitement, or so I. It's like I gotta fucking figure something out to get some fucking excitement. Not bad excitement, like good excitement, like, you know, normal shit. Okay, what am I doing? I got my, um, oh, shit. All right, my cats were playing with each other. <sighs> Scared me. Wow, my charger's at 0%. What else am I doing in here? Oh, I can't, blah, blah, blah. I don't remember. Fuck. Maybe I got a kayak more or something. That's exciting. Want to go kayaking? That sounds exciting. I don't know. That does sound exciting. Maybe I just need the kayak more, I think. That'll help. Yeah, I think that sounds exciting. That sounds exciting, don't it? Kayaking? Yeah, I think I need some kayaking in my fucking life, dude. And we'll plug you into some charger here. Let's see. All right, that one's charged. That should be good enough for now. Put on a headlamp. Let's use the one that has more broad spectrum light. If I can find it. I probably can't. Where did it go? I don't know. Fuck my life. Come on, dude. Where in the fuck is my broad spectrum light? Fuck you. Damn it. My cats were attacking each other, and it's. I didn't know it because I was worried a raccoon was getting their asses. Let's hang you up somewhere.
Amen. Come on in. You got three seconds. One. Come in. Two. Two and a half. Come in or I'm closing the door. Three. All right. Here I am. Yeah, this one's got broad, broader light. The other one's more pinpointed. I think I need the kayak more. That's my problem. That's the problem. I need more kayak in, in my life. I trimmed this fingernail up not that long ago, and look at it. It's still pretty long. I just trimmed it like the other day. It's still pretty long. See how much I used of it. Well, it's right about there. I don't even think that's half. That's pretty good. Dude, that shit was 20 bucks. Like I said, I remember in the year 2000, it was about five bucks. This is a good one, though. This one says cedar, citronella, and cedar. Citronella and cedar. Bite fighter. Cedar smells good. I like citronella a little bit. I don't like it all the time, but sometimes it smells good to me. All right, let's try to uh, work on this tire a little bit more. That's how you hurt your finger. You fucking cunt, bitch, fuck. You can tell the stocking's getting worse. Like the other day, some fucking bitch at three in the morning pulling in my driveway.
What the fuck? My my views just went from zero to four. That's fucking weird. So four people all joined at once. The fuck? Hey, four people. Fuck you. I hope you die. <laughs> It says right here, do not drink. Do not drink. Harmful or fatal if swallowed. Pour directly from bottle to vessel. There's like bugs going up my shorts. All right, I did do the oil change. I did fix the gas line. Now I need to fix the only one tire is bad. It when it was working, all of a sudden it just went flat and fell off the bead. And it is pretty dry rotted, so I think trying to get it back on the bead is kind of uh, not working. So I don't know. If I had a fucking tube, that might help. But no, you can't. If you get a tube made in China, it's fake. It's not going to work. You have to buy a tube made in USA. And then it's going to last the rest of your life. But if you buy a tube from China, it'll instantly break and never work, not even a day. Not even one day. Well, this is a little bit of a good buy. And by that, I mean, I'm making a new account and I'm not going to tell anybody my new account. Because I want to meet new people. I don't like these people. I never liked them. I only joined them because they were being nice and giving me money and shit. And I'm like, well, if they're being nice and they're giving me money, why not talk to them? And I'm not talking about who you think. I meant like this, the noodles people or whatever. But now they're just going to stalk me. So I don't, you know, it went. And I always said, I'm like, well, if they, if they start doing that shit, I'm just going to leave. What's that guy doing? I seen the coolest fucking truck. Dodge's, they got the Dodge TRX, and I'm like, dude. And people are making what's called the Baby TRX. So Google Baby TRX. You can't buy that. You have to build it. But what you do is you buy a Dodge TRX, and they shorten it. Well, that's a lot of work. I was looking up videos about the work and I'm like, dude, that is some heavy, heavy work. And it's Mexicans doing it. And I'm like, dude, 
if Mexicans are doing that, then hell yeah, Mexicans are badass. You ain't seeing no motherfucking black people doing that. No, you see black people stealing Dodge Hellcats. You don't see black people making fucking baby TRXs. You don't. You don't. You never will. Trust me. The closest you can ever get to that is look up the guy in Africa that made a Lamborghini. That's the closest you're ever going to get. And guess what? It, his Lamborghini sucked. And it's, I'm not trying to be racist, dude. That's why I'm like, shit. If fucking Mexicans make baby TRXs, well, that's pretty fucking good. And I'd totally give props to that shit. Well, people like their food and. You know, if they're good, if they're good people, well, great. That's amazing. So I'm not racist against Mexicans, but, you know, you do wonder, you're like, well, there's open borders. What does this mean? You know. But it's not like. Me trying to be fucking racist. It's just wondering what the fuck is going on. Now, if they were fucked up, you know, I don't know. Dude, there's something, there is a bug attacking me. I did have a premonition. I met a new community and I felt really happy. I was really shocked. They were really nice. They weren't dumb. They weren't zombies. And I'm like, wow, this is crazy. I like this. I, I've joined communities. Like, before I joined Noodles, I tried to join a different community. And I ended up not liking them because they were kind of narcissists, too. And I was trolling them and fucking with them too, and uh, that that was t the, that's how these that's that that's how that community was. So I was just like joking with them back and stuff, and they would get all butt hurt. And I'm like, I can't hang out in this community. And one thing I noticed about all of them is they they all had gaming computer chairs, and I'm like. Dude, in the year 2000, I had gaming computer chairs that were better than the ones they got now. And ain't nobody fucking thought shit about it. You know, it's like your gaming computer chair just makes you look stupid now. Go back in time, go to the year 2000, have a gaming computer chair. I'll think you're fucking cool or something then. But nowadays, it's just stupid. It's They're not even cool. If you ask them, are they really comfortable? They're like, no. It's like, yeah, I could have told you that in the year 2000. Dumb answers. I wish I had proof of my fucking nice chair I had. I, and I ain't buying another one. Because it sucked. It was cool. It was real leather and shit. I had a real leather one and I only paid like a hundred bucks. Well, shit, there's still a hundred bucks. Yeah. You can buy like an expensive one, but it ain't going to be no different. Shit, Walmart has those fucking, some of them, but th those ones do suck. I had a premonition I joined this new community, but telling you the premonition changes it. So I don't really care either way. But finding good communities is very hard. I've never done it. I know they exist, but I you just I can't find them or whatever. And even if I find one, I somewhat like they disabandon and. It don't work out. And 
and they're they're disabanding because they're getting fucked over. Like you're getting these fucking weird. Uh, I don't even know how to explain it. That's so. Plus, I, I have another theory that the good communities, they're all about to fall apart anyways. Because they don't understand they're being rewarded for their stupidity. And like one of these communities, they're buying Black Hawk helicopters. And I'm like, dude, that's... Your community bought a Black Hawk helicopter... It's like those are top secret government helicopters. That's the fastest helicopter the army fucking admits to. It's like, so you own a top secret military helicopter. Something ain't making sense. How is that even possible? It's it's top secret, and you own that. You own a top secret helicopter, a Blackhawk. Yeah, no, something ain't right. And and you're just some fucking dumb idiot. Yeah, something ain't mad no. That's almost like some Russian oligarch saying, I'll sell you a fucking uh, nuclear bomb or some shit. Like, yeah. What does oligarch mean? I don't even know what the fuck that word means. When I bought my camper, I hung a cross up on it, and it's still there. I just looked up and saw it work. This is glass. This is a glass cross. And it just hangs there. And it survived tornadoes and shit. It's like, but that, I've had that forever. Like, I got that in the 90s or some shit by, like, I don't even know who. I wonder if it was my grandma. I don't know. I don't know. I just feel so upset. I think it is depression, but I don't want to say that. So. Depression, it don't bother me. I'm not like one of these other people. I, I it ain't gonna. It don't bother me. In fact, I like it. So fuck you. In life, you are not defined by your pleasures. Those are stupid, and nobody likes that or cares about that. Nobody cares about your pleasures. Nobody gives a fuck. What defines you are your depressions.
And that's why depression is amazing. And I'm glad these people don't understand that because they're not going to be half of what I am. And I ain't even shit. So it must suck. You probably stalk me out of jealousy even though I lived in that shitty fucking apartment forever and then the place before that or it was just zombies everywhere. And that was where I grew, grew up during my childhood. From literally the year 1990 to the, like the year 2000, I lived there. I moved there when I was nine and then moved out at 17. It might have been before nine. I might have been eight. It might have been eight or nine. Yeah, eight. And then I moved out at uh, I was seventeen when I moved out. Yeah, nine. But that was like my teenage. Everybody knew me. I had a lot of friends. The dumb people didn't know me, but nobody cared about the dumb people. Right, I've been sitting here staring at this tree for a while. And I had just now determined that somebody is signaling me from the tree. There's someone in the tree and they're sending me some kind of signal. Well, let me show you. Right there. Okay, see that little light above the grass? Here, let's raise you up a little bit. Right above the grass, there's a little light. See that little light right above the grass? So there's like a little bit of a black layer there, and then there's a light. Well, that light, I swear to God, it's signaling me. So let's watch. So right there, that light right above the ground right there see my poor neighbor's house is falling apart and he don't fix it and it's kind of sad I don't know why makes me want to ask him can I just buy your house I'd fix it up and live in it and mm. They stopped signaling me, dude. Look, they, it stopped. That light, there's a little light above it. 
and it's been signaling me. And the second I pointed it out, they stopped. Dude, they were sending me, like, legit signals. They were waving, like, a light. That's my fire. Damn. Dude, they quit. Dude. Dude, I got to look over there. What the fuck? Here, let's signal him back. Did you see my signal back? Look, I signaled him back now. They're signaling, dude. Dude, they're signaling back. Signaling back, dude. Dude, I just signaled them, and now they're now they're, they weren't they stopped signaling. So I signaled back, and now they're signaling back again, dude. I wonder if like somebody needs help or something, dude. They're fucking SOS in me, dude. Dude. What the fuck? What is that? Dude, they're fucking like SOS in me. They quit. Dude, they stopped. Now they're doing it again. It stopped. Dude, there's somebody over there signaling me. And it's, it's right fucking at that light there. I'm trying to catch it, but it's pretty, like, kind of dim. What is that? Let's signal them again and see if they signal back. Flash, but not. Nah. Ah, dude. I see a little signal, but I, I can't tell. Like, I think they moved or something. It's, it's doing it a little bit. Uh, I think they quit or something, dude. No, they did it once. No, they quit. There's a little bit of it. No, there's a little bit there. A little bit. Ah, uh, kind of pretty much quit. I I see like just very little, but it was going crazy a little bit ago, dude. I'm like, dude, somebody's signaling me. Oh, I did it. 
I just did it. But it quit. They, they, they're like, quit. My battery is just barely charging. <laughs> so. This is like a carabiner charger. It's for emergency. Like you take it with you when you're camping, but it's for emergency. That's supposed to be your backup, backup, backup kind of one. It is charging. If it works, it's a pretty good charger. Let's see what the battery life is at. 75%, but that's still pretty good.
I guess I like double wrap it. <laughs>
I need a cigarette. I need a cigarette, my bait. Vitamin E acetate tastes great. Thank you. I need a fucking tire. Fuck. You know what's stupid is I, I had some and I fucking got rid of them thinking I didn't need them or something. They're flashing me again. I can fuck with them and put my torch up there and they'll see my torch or something. I don't know. See, they flash me again. They flash. They stopped. Still stopped. Tiny flash. Stop. Still stop, tiny flash, stop. Still stop. That's fucking weird, dude. Here, I'm going to go investigate real quick. Here, what?
Hang on one second. I'll be right back. Hey, Mike. Oh, it's nice for mm -hmm. Probably good, though. I just don't want to breathe it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That'll keep the bugs off me, though. That's cedar and citronella. That's pretty good. I'll dance, dance, dance with my hands. Yes. Do you know, um, 
I figured that out on my own is that it's the same beat. The, the skip. Skippity. Yes, yes. Um, that's the dance with my hand song. And I just, I, I figured that out because I started going, I'll dance with my hands. Yes, yes, skippity. And then I'm like, dude, holy shit, that's the same song. What the fuck? Because sometimes I'll like DJ shit in my head sometimes. I was doing that earlier. And I'll realize, like, these songs connect, and it's like, I could totally be a DJ and just mix, like, take a bunch of songs that have the same rhythm and, like, make a big mixtape of them or something, you know what I mean, like a DJ. So, if you want to play music, but it's copyrighted, all you have to do is play the remix, and it's no longer copyrighted. So, if you want to play a song on your stream, and you don't want to get copyrighted, play the remix. And you won't get copyrighted. And if you do, say, no, this is not the song. This is a remix. And they can't fucking do anything. So. And if they do, well, the, at worst, you're going to get a strike. So it just means, okay, well, then don't use that one. Fuck it. Or find one that's a remix of a remix of a remix. And then use that one because it'll work. Or you're allowed like 29 seconds. And that's how the TikToks work. Is if you only play 29 seconds, that's not copyrightable. It has to be over 30 seconds. So you could, if you're doing a short, you could just straight up steal the song and monetize it, and they can't copyright it because you only use 29 fucking seconds. So that's how they, that's how they get away with it. So you could totally do that and still make money. I should probably do that. Maybe, okay, I just came up with an idea. Let's write this down. Let's go get a notepad and a pen. All right. Back. So we're going to monetize copyrighted shit. Okay, while well, we are right.
Uh, I got two ideas there. We'll see. Okay, what do I need to do? Gas. I did the oil chain. I can check the oil. Mm. I think it would help if I just take the tire off. Yeah, it might be easier to work on. Let's try that. I hate this fucking tire. I'm supposed to be the fucking tire.
And I and see the I need to fix a fire. All right. I need to get off the jet now. I need to fill the tire or something, probably. Did it. I fucking did it. I fucking did it. It's back on the bead. So what I figured out is squinch it down a little. You know, squinch it down just a little, not a lot. You know, just a little bit. And then pump it and kick it. Like kick right in the middle. And that'll be, and then it, that puffs it. It goes like, it's like. So you're flexing it, and then it's trying to grab and inflate. So that seemed to be a good technique. So that's what I did. So there you go. That's how I did it. I got it back on B. That's that's so hard to fucking do. You you have no idea. I feel pretty good now. Hey, I'm not depressed anymore. Thank you. 
That was pretty good. Now I need to fix a flat or something. I guess we'll see how it does without the fix a flat, but it's working right now. I can't believe it. Anyways, now we need gas. I need this. Oh, a solenoid. I don't know. I might have to ask what I want one or two for it. After all this fucking work. This thing's a fucking monster. It's the fastest Mario you can get, too. I don't know, maybe I should advertise that or something. Or I might fucking buy it. Make a good race Mario. But, like, literally, you would... You'd have to, like, mow or something. Like mow. If you mowed and raced, this would win. It's the only thing that'd win. You you could win in this. Here, let's show you. Are you ready? Oh, I need some gas, so. I think all I need, I need a little gas. And uh, I think we can do it. Let's see, I got some gas over here. It's I got some T-shirt gas, but that'll work. I think. Yeah. All right, we're going to fire it up, and I'll show you how fast this motherfucker is. And then one thing is, is you guys were like, why is it taking so long to start a lawnmower? What the fuck is that guy doing? The 
fuck? There's like so many of these. What the fuck? Oh, fuck. Oh, that's like somebody. Looking weird. Like, don't worry, I got something for you. You're not going to be happy. Ask Stella what she would have done. Oh, wait. Never mind. I guess that has double meaning, but no, uh, it's not the the one of the doubles. It's the it's the it's the good one of, of the doubles. So just forget about it. All right, here we go. There we go. That looks way better. Damn. I didn't realize the difference there. Wow. Did you see? Wow, that's a big fucking difference right there. Holy shit.
I don't run real good. I don't know why, because it shouldn't be running like that. Maybe it's got a bad something or whatever. I don't know. Yeah. It kind of acts like it's not getting gas. So maybe the gas is clogged or something. I don't fucking know. Uh, yeah. All the blades were spinning. They're, they're making a little bit of noise. And the mower is turning. It makes a little bit of noise. But uh, it seems like it's kind of working. It don't have no fucking feet. It's missing a front bolt. The solenoid's not working. I could fix the solenoid. I might have to do that because it's a little funky jumping the solenoid. I could use a hood. I might have to slap a hood on there. You know what I'm saying? It kind of turns better one way than the other. And it's probably this bolt. I probably have a bolt. I might have to jack it back up, put a bolt on there. And I don't know why it's running funny. I guess I got to try to figure that out. But I just checked for compression, and it's got, like, really good compression and stuff. And so I looked out there. That's the truth. That, that engine's pretty good. And I'm always worried because sometimes they do go bad. But this one, uh, actually, it's in pretty good condition, so... Maybe I'll have to just take take that motor off. Actually, it was making noise just now. So, uh, it, it was making this crunchy noise. I think something could go bad. The governor, I was starting to make this crunchy sound. I'm like, oh, fuck. Yeah, that governor might fucking blow up or something. I don't know. I think they're made of plastic. Uh, Yeah, it needs a bolt. I have to put a bolt on it. Yeah, we'll try to find a bolt. It's in the front end. Come on. My charger right. It says 50%. I know. Yeah, it says 50%. Oh, it's not bad. This thing's crazy. It's a, like an emergency carabiner fucking trigger.
Yeah, I'm gonna get that bolt. Hold on. Yeah, I want to set this thing. Take three. I found a big bolt. That's pretty big. But it's got a lock washer and another washer, but I kind of want another washer too. So I don't have the nut. Let me put the nut back on. There you go. I, I want another washer. Sorry, I got to find another washer. I think. 